Hi Gemini, how are you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on my video. My name is Lynn and this is Passionate Heart Tarot and this is your love reading Gemini for May. I want to take a look and see what's going on around you guys and then we'll see what Spirit shows us is coming in. All right, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up, you guys. Comment and share. I love you so much. I send you all much love and light. And before I begin your reading, I just want to take a moment to invite the white light of the Holy Spirit to bless your reading. Gemini, I want to take a look and see how does your love life look now? What's going on around you guys? Let's see what spirit shows us and then we'll see what's coming in. You know, what's funny is I see the energy of like someone who does not want to let go. So Capricorn's energy and Sagittarius energy is here. So you guys might have that in your chart or you could be dealing with someone that does. There's a lot of sexual en energy here, chemistry. I mean, to see this combination, I mean, wow. To see this combination of cards, it's highly sexual. But there's also like a negativity that's associated with it. I wonder if someone feels like they're used or they feel like they're giving themselves away. There's definitely something here that's tying you guys together. Yes, there's a huge attraction, but it's a lot deeper than that. Because there's like a codependency of not letting... Go. Codependency to be fair... But I know a lot of this is like someone who won't let you go. I wonder if you guys, um, you know, might have had a connection with someone and maybe it was just a physical attraction, you know, just a, a, a physical connection and not offering a lot of emotion. Because, you know, this Knight of Wands is about... Being in the moment, it's there's a lot of attraction, a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry. It's like a mind-blowing physical experience, a lot of satisfaction. But this is not someone who sticks around. It's short-term, could even have been a fling. It's short-term, and it's like they're not offering emotion. So that could have been a choice that you decided... Gemini. And I just see someone who's holding on to this a lot longer than they should. And I say that because it's like this divine timing is here. And what in this position with this spread, it's um, spirit letting me know. I know that those words sounded really wrong, <laughs> but it's spirit letting me know that something like the timing is up, like it's full circle. It's a cycle that's complete. So since it's complete, I see where someone is holding on to it, like won't let it go. Um, but what I will tell you is that it's it's not amounting to anything more than this person wanted to. And I know that's not the easiest thing to hear, but I know someone needs to hear the truth because they are the one who's holding on. And they're holding on because they, I mean, when you're in this kind of emotion, it'll make you bound to a person because it's a physical attraction that's being mistaken for so much more. Maybe this is like the best lover this person has ever had. Um, there's just like so much chemistry, physical attraction. So maybe it's even like the the most beautiful, attractive person that they've ever seen. That's like a, a very powerful combination of cards. And I know that it's what's keeping them there, right? On, on, on one plane, I will say that. Um, but deeper, this is, this is like karmic ties. You know, it's balancing from one life to the other. Because there's, 
And I know this might not be the easiest thing to hear, but it is highly likely that the emotions that this person is going through where they can't let go, because I have to be fair, you know, you could be the one holding on Gemini or it could be the person who's holding on to you. But the bottom line is for this person who won't let go, there's a huge chance that in the last lifetime you had, you were the one who was in this chemistry, you know, this energy of just wanting physical. So it's like, it's a role reversal here. I mean, there's so much karmic ties and divine timing. It's a role reversal. So I just want someone to think very critically, like, why can I let this person go? There's karmic ties that need to be broken and the time to do it is now because the cycle's over. So hanging on to this, clinging on to this, hoping and thinking that it's going to be something so much more. I have to tell you and be honest with you that the energy that I can see here is the cycle is complete. The connection was what it was. And although it's not easy, it's not going to lead to anything more. Because I know in someone's mind, they feel like this is my person. This is my path that I'm meant to go down. When we connect, it's mind blowing. I know they feel the same way. I know how easy it is to get caught up in that energy because you see um, how they're ruled by, this is karmic, this is toxicity, these are like learning lessons. These lovers are chained to one another. So I understand the pull, I understand how it's so hard to let go. I understand how the feelings are so strong, but you would feel much better if you let it go because it is done and it's time to release it. So. You know, your energy, Gemini, could be the one who is just, you know, I thought that this was going to be just um, a fun, physical, flirty connection that wasn't going to lead to anything. But it's important for you to know uh, just how invested this person is in you and how they do not want to let you go and how they feel like this is a path that they're supposed to go down with you. So if you feel, um, you know, I, I tell you that because you might want to be gentle with them when you let them go because this person is so tied to you. The thing about it, though, is I don't see any emotion here of love. There's not one cup here in this spread. That's very, very telling. And it speaks to how someone's emotions are, are lying to them. The, it's, it's, there's a, yes, there's a connection that's here, but it's not love. It's very lustful. There's um, an attraction and a lure and maybe even the way that you can't have them makes you want them even more. I'm telling you that. So maybe, maybe it will speak to someone and they can like kind of snap out of it and think, well, yeah, maybe this is not what I thought it was because there's so much resistance to it. So is it really something that's meant to be? Um, because I see both sides of it. And honestly, quite frankly, there's not even a shred, not even one cup of true emotion and feeling and love coming from either one of you. So I know that you guys are not in love with each other. Someone might have convinced themselves that they are, but I have to tell you what I can see and that is it's a very lustful, it's a very physical attraction. And like you two, um, when your chemistry mixes with the other person, it just creates something that is explosive. But, you know, it's time for someone to realize um, what the truth is and that, you know, there's they're not in love with this person, although they might have convinced themselves that they feel so much more because of the physical and just like sexual the chemistry, everything that's here. I mean, I see how how it binds the two of you together, but what's keeping you together is not love. And that's very, very important. See, that's why I like to look at the present. All right, Gemini, I wanna ask Spirit to show us what is coming in.
So someone's gonna, um, someone might let the, uh, I hope they let them go gently because I see a lot of ego that's here, but it's definitely gonna come out. Whether it's a realization that someone has about what this connection is. And as you watch this, it might have spoken to you so deeply that you see the truth about it. Because I mean, the moon here, Pisces energy, is like it's it's revealed. Although there's a lot of confusing emotion. Once it's seen, it can't be unseen. So the truth is going to be revealed. So you guys might even be dealing with a Pisces or you could have that in your chart, Gemini. But I, I see the way that um, you guys will separate. Whether, whether you let go, the one who's holding on, or whether they push you away. I, I just want you to know that I can see the energy of someone who feels very sad like they've been left behind like they've been broken up with so that's so important especially for for those of you who who are kind of um in the energy of like i thought this was just going to be fun i thought it was just going to be physical just know that you do have a lot of uh power over this person because they i mean they have it in their mind that they just want you they want to be with you since you have a lot of power over them, you 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 know you might be the one who tells them how you feel and that it's nothing more than what it is and that it's it's not going to amount to anything more. It'll be revealed. That's the bottom line. And just what I hope is that someone will let the other person down gently. But I do see a lot of ego here. And it could be this person's way to save face. And, and that's perfectly fine if they feel like they need to do that. You know, if, if they're in the energy, because, you know, you there's a lot of potential to hurt them, Gemini. That's what I'm saying. And I know that you guys aren't, even though maybe you just wanted something physical, you might not realize how this person feels about you. So now that, you know, it's been revealed, you know, it, it would be nice if you could be in the energy of letting them down gently. Um, but what I do want to tell you about them, you know, with that five of swords is someone who will save face. And they're going to come out on top no matter what. Because it's pride and it, it's not wanting to be her. It's not wanting to be made a fool of, which I completely understand. So I just want you to be prepared if they, if they do something you know, like cuss at you or like tell you where to go because this is the energy of like, I'm going to hurt you because you hurt me. That's what I can see. So just be prepared that it's not going to, that's why I'm telling you to take it gently with them because it's not going to be very easy for this person to hear this and let go peacefully. They're not going to, this is someone who is very like stuck on you and they feel like it's so much more in their heart but i i tell you that it's not but you know tell that to them because that's not how they feel and i don't say that to be insensitive but i just see that when they when someone lets go uh they will try to save face because you know the five of swords is um i feel like this person can go either way when they're in a, when they're in certain energy like they can be nice but if you back them into a corner and you make them feel like foolish you might see a side to them that you didn't know was there so this is all very important especially i feel for those who are holding on to this connection and feeling like it was so much more because i see um trying and trying and trying you know Trying and trying um, to, to get this person to give another chance and to see things from your perspective. But I want you to be careful because, you know, if you're in that energy of being, uh, you know, the Queen of Pentacles energy is someone who's very, very forgiving, almost too humble because they'll get walked all over. So the, the sad thing that I see is like this, they're... They just keep trying, you know, they feel like it's supposed to be so much more than it is.
but it's it's a hard truth in that it's not. And I see the way that um, when it's revealed, when they see the truth with that Pisces energy, there's a lot of emotions that they're going to go through. I say that because I don't want this person beating themselves up for feeling this way because this is like someone who feels foolish. Like, why did I say that? Why did I give so much time, effort, energy? It's someone who's very stressed out and losing a lot of sleep over being left, you know, feeling like they got broken up with. And, and you know, to look at the Five of Cups... To feel like they got broken up with is very telling, Gemini, because in their mind, it's so much more than you think. So I know that a lot of people, you know, it's not easy to hear. It's not. But I mean, this is the truth. This this is what's here. And it is better to release it and let it let it go then hold on to something that's not going anywhere other than the experiences that you've already had. And I know that's not easy to hear. But it's what's needed. It's, it's what someone needs to hear. So just be prepared when it comes to this person, Gemini, because I do see them. They're not going to just let go so easy. It's someone who will keep trying pursuing. They'll be very sweet. They'll be very kind um, because they want to see what you guys can build. But once like it finally clicks, this person might just, their energy just might flip on you. And I'm, I'm just being honest with what I see that it might flip on you and you might see a side to them that they're just doing it to save face because they are so hurt. So that's why I'm telling you to please let this person down gently. All right, Gemini. I mean, that's what I can see around you guys. And I hate to put this person down, but it's very obsessive energy. There's not, um, and again, I mean, it's it's like them believing that it's so much more than it is because the attraction is so strong, but this is not a this is not love. This is not, you know, um, from the heart. There's no emotion that's here. And I know that's not the easiest thing to hear. So just be aware that you may be the one that has to release them because they're they're not gonna let you go. And even when you do, they're still gonna cling on to you and try to see if they can just be nicer and nicer to get you to open up to them. But you you're going to please don't take advantage of this person and, you know, just engage with them sexually. Please don't do that to them because you might find that if you're going to see a side to them that you haven't seen. So there's definitely a warning in this energy for you guys. All right, Gemini. OMG, this is surprising to me to see but it's definitely something that needs to be put out into the world that someone needs to see all right that is what i have for you guys i love you so much please take care of yourselves be careful be kind to others be gentle to others i send you all much love and light please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up comment share gemini and i will talk to you guys soon